right here on the Foxhole, Sirius 106, XM 149. Who's on the air this week? Too Short. Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Too Short. It's the Foxhole Roulette. Too Short in the house. We doing this. I'm being here for the next hour, kicking it, letting you know what's going on with me. What's going on over here uh, on the West Coast with your boy Short Dog? We're not just talking uh, music. We can kick it with anything. I know you don't really, uh, a lot of people don't get a chance to get in my ear and uh, ask me questions and get some of this game I got. But I'm at a point in my life right now where, you know, I feel like that's what I need to be doing is grabbing some of these youngsters out here and teaching them some of this game. Because a lot of people, they know me for these dirty raps, and you just don't know how much game Too Short really got. But, you know, we're going to warm up to it. Too Short on the foxhole. I want to listen to a little bit of this. Let's just listen to a little bit of this too short, dirty music. Let's hear where we're coming from. Call me, 877-2106-106. Let's holler. We're going to get into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do talk a lot of shit. Hey, this your boy, Too Short. Foxhole Roulette. I got my homeboy, my OG partner from way back in the day. We've been homies since we was teenagers. My man, Richie Rich, in the house, East Oakland. What's up, man? What's happening with you, doggy? Nothing, man. Just uh, we, we just gonna chop it up for a minute, man. Talk about uh how this game is going, cause you know um I'm an OG in the game, Rich. I've been doing this, man, just like you, a lot of years, man. You know, a right, lot, right. lot of OGs. Uh, you know, it ain't so easy for them no more in this hip hop, man. But you know, we 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 doing it, man. I just feel like this. I'm like I'm independent now. Right. I'm back to my roots. I'm glad to be independent. I'm glad not to be on a major label. For sure. I'm, I'm glad to be still in the music game, still active. You know. We, Dropping songs, doing stuff, doing shows, it goes down. But I'm like, I'm at a point right now, man. I'm in the lab right now. Right. And all I'm saying is, you know, everybody heard you heard the song this one. Everybody know two short rap, dirty raps. Oh, for sure. X rated no, short dog. <laughs> but you know, I really, I really don't get a lot of love on all the positive, creative songs I made throughout my career. Right. Where, where you know I'm speaking on some real stuff, and it's not just about pimping and you know speaking down on ladies and whatnot. You know, even when I do talk shit about the ladies. I try to keep it fun, you know what I mean? Right, for sure. I don't, I don't really just shit on a bitch, man. I kind of like, you know, <laughs> I make it so you can laugh at it a bit, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. You know, but so you, it's, it's all real game, too, dog. You basically, you you want to show them the the, the the intellect that you possess, not just all of the, the, the bullshit you talk. But the problem is, you know, let's say if I get down right now and I just really start talking, you get off the short, dog, and start speaking on that, that real Todd Shaw game. Right. I might actually... You know, get rid of two short fans. They be like alienated. Like, man, short dog is tripping. Man, what is he on? Oh, you know, yeah, dude, well, they, yeah, you, 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 you can't have the mask and you know. So the what Bruce if I ain't in the build at the same time? It's not gonna be lovely. So what if I, what if I hit my next birthday, man? Forty five is my next birthday. Okay. I ain't gonna never lie about my age. I ain't gonna never dye my hair. None of that stuff. You, you, he, he have no need to lie. So why would not I? Why would you like be forty five years old t- telling the twenty one year old shake that thing, girl? Drop it to the floor, you know what I mean? At some point, I got to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to tell you that last night when you was on the pool table, but you didn't want to hear what I was talking about. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'd like to hear from some people out there to just, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm confused at this point. I'm just like, you know, as a businessman, I can tell you that I have personally found 1,722 ways to say suck my dick, bitch. Yeah. But at the same time, do I want to say it one more time, or do I want to like really get off into some real, you know? Because my right. young, I look at my youngsters, man, and they need some game. The last thing they need is to be told, go out there and tell her give you some head, man. They really need some game right now. So I'm thinking, maybe I should just. It might stand be up. time for Trouble Dog to start giving it back. Yeah, you know. So we're gonna talk to some people about it, man. I got Summer from L.A. You want to holler at me, Summer? Call eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six. What's up, Summer? Hey, what's up? What's up, girl? What's 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 going on? Too short. What's up with it? So, dog, you was looking good at the concert Saturday night, baby. I was in the front row getting a close up on you. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. That's right. That was a good show Saturday night. I I had a good time on stage, for real. Yeah, I had a good time being there. I'm glad I made it. Glad I had a chance to see you up close and personal. Rapping those dirty rhymes, huh? That's what you do best, man. That's what you do. So what you think, Summer? I'm, I'm about to turn 45 in about probably about five, six months. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm working on a new album, and I'm thinking, should I really just, should I, like, lighten up on the bitches, or should I stay hard on the boulevard? What you think, Summer? 
Uh, you know, dog, you've been doing your thing for so long. I love the way you do it, just the way you do it. I just say keep on doing your thing. They got to love to leave it. All right, but you know, I, my main concern is my youngsters out there. I want you know, I know a lot of stuff that could really help them. You know, uh, side stuff, some of the stuff. Uh, you know, I seen and some of the stuff I experienced and went through. You know, I just want to, I want to pass that game. I don't want to just sit around here just putting everybody to sleep with this booty shake, shake your booty. You know, but I'm having a good time doing it at the same time though. <laughs> well, that's that's what matters most. As long as you're having fun with it, and making money with it, hey. I all right, now, I'm like this. As long as the ladies ain't mad at me, it's all good. I'm about to holler at my man Lance from Oakland. Take care, Summer. All right, do your thing, too. Take care. All right. Yo, Lance, what's up? Uncle Shaw, there ain't no honey like 700. What's happening? <laughs> He's Oakland, uh, man. What's up with it? Rich, Rich up in here, man. What's happening, doggy? What's up, Sorrell? This is uh, my old school partner. Oh, he, he, called, <laughs> boy, he went back. <laughs> he went back to the government. Okay, what's up, Rich? Town business bit, bit definitely on the air in the Fox Hall. Hey, what you think, OG, man? I, you hear what I'm talking about, man? I'm, I'm talking about spitting that game, but how are we going to spit it to the future? I'm like, you know, I'm going in one more time, man. I'm, I'm not going to retire. I'm, I'm keep spitting show. it, but at the same time, I can't, you know, can I keep going hard on the bitches when I know my young homies need so much game? What should I do? Uncle Show, you got to give us the game, Uncle Show. That's how it goes. You got to give us the game. I remember when we had to give every, we had to lace people down with show music. I remember back in the day, people was talking about, show can't rap, show can't rap. Nigga, please. Nigga, please. We used to take that old white two short tape out and say, here, listen to this. And that's riding around in Vallejo when Vallejo didn't know nothing about nothing out there in L.A. When L.A. didn't know nothing about Uncle Show. Uncle Show. Just lace us. That's all I'm saying. Just keep us laced. All right, man. Shout out to East Oakland. Appreciate it, Lance, man. I'm going to keep spitting that game, man. Holla, man. That boy went way back. All right, we got uh, Rome. Rome all the way from Wisconsin. Where you calling from, man? Rome. Rome. Hey. Romey, homie. Or maybe he's calling from the mill, man. Shout out to all my homies in the milly. Milwaukee. What's up with it, players? For sure. You know, that's how we do it, though, man. I'm figuring, uh, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it, though, for real. Call 877-2106-106. Holler at me. Tell me how you feel about it. But I personally feel like, you know, there is a balance in there somewhere where I can still have fun, be sure a dog spit some game. But it's weighing heavy, man. It's weighing heavy when I talk to my youngsters. And they just saying to me, they're like, Uncle Shop, give us some game, man. Where's the game? Everybody want to know how to get money. It's hard out here, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's, uh, let's chop it up, man. We got Lee Lee. From Denver, Lily, it's not a girl. What's up, Lily? What's happening with y'all? What's up with it, man? And Richard Ritz, what's going down? What's good, pimp? Oh, trying to man, lace I've him. Been trying a, to lace him. I've been a fan of y'all since day one. Since day one, I'm still behind on the music on Richard Ritz. I'm still listening to uh, uh, the, the the album with the motorcycle on the front of it. Hey, and that's my fault, though, doggy. That ain't your fault. We back at you, dog. You feel me? That's clearly oh, yeah. my fault, my nigga. Oh, it's all good, man. I'm, I'm waiting for you to drop something else. But show dog, man, just keep doing what you do, bro. You know, keep it funky. Keep, keep the game on it. Hey, you doing it big as far as I'm concerned. Well, should I stay hard on the bitch or not? That's what's up, y'all. Hey. <laughs> hey that's what's <laughs> up, y'all. You feel me? All right, man. It's all good, man. We got to – we're going to holler at you, man. We got a uh, Jay from Oakland. What's up, Jay? Oh, love him. No, love What's up, baby? Shit, the town is calling. What's up with it, man? Man, I hear your voice. I got to call and thank you. You raised me. I ain't going to even lie. Rich raised me, too, but on some different shit. But, you know, <laughs> so if you raised a nigga, you feel me? Like, I ain't going to lie. It's only two niggas that spit it real, and that's you and Freak. But Freak spit it from a different way from how you spit it. You can't leave me hanging. You feel me? Because it cut. I'm in a whole different land from what I done learned from you since I was a little kid. You feel me? And, I, and, and, I, and I'm and i going to tell all the youngsters that they can't learn nothing from self music. So to, so to let the real niggas know how to not be a sucker. The way he clowns suckers, man, is just ridiculous. And that's how I knew what lane not to go in. You know, because it's easy to be a sucker, and I don't think a lot of cats know that. 
But man, listening to your music and what you clown niggas have, and then sometimes you do it on the arm, but you gotta, I think is you gotta be from a certain place to understand where you're coming from. And I That's understood right. all of it, and I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart, my nigga. Thank you so much, nigga. You rag you need about here from just the music. <laughs> Hey, my, hey, man, that's, hey, that's, that's real big coming from the homie from town, man. Town business on that one, player, for real, though. But, you know, um, if you hey, if you really, really, if you really in them youngsters ears, man, tell them quit being followers, man. We need some leaders out there, man, in the younger generation, man. We need somebody to step up and say, man, let's do this thing right, man, instead of just everybody just following like, the you know, the crazy fool before him, man. Be your own man, man. Call me, holler at me, show dog, 877-2106-106. It's the Foxhole Roulette. Bring it back. What? Yeah, yeah, that's that too short right there, man. You know, that's my partner short dog. <laughs> hey, Richie, Rich, what's up, man? I got Richie. What's happening? What's happening? Rich, what's up, man? You hear that game I'm spitting on there, man? Hey, man, it's a whole bunch of it, though. That's, I mean, that's what you do, my guy. I used to grab a pen and I'd be thinking to myself, I gotta lay some. I gotta tell somebody something about this stuff I know. You know? Right. Well, that's that town, though. I mean. We hey, well, got different kinds of game, but it's all it's that's that town, man. They put it in like that. I'm gonna tell you something, y'all don't know where we come from. We got like this thing. We say, man, you know, so and so, he could rap, he could rap, he could flow. But then you got some of us. They say, oh, that, he, he spit game. That nigga spit game. <laughs> and it, and it's like it's not even calling you a rapper. It's like all these years, if somebody said, man, short can't rap. It's like no, he's a game spitter. He spits game. He educates you on things the game. You, you might never have known. It's exactly. real stuff. So you know. That's why I feel like we still at right now, man. And I just um, I I try to uphold my end, whether I'm having some fun with it, talking about some pimp stuff, or some you know, Lil John turn me on to the to the dance floor and the, and the party scene. If I'm trying to stay in that mode, right. if I'm just if I'm just talking shit, I just want to spit some game. And it's like, you know, I want to hear some game coming from you know everybody that rap. When I get the Ti album or uh, you know a, right anybody album, I'm like listen to the game, listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Game. That's what it used to be about, though. I mean, getting on there and spitting the game. You know what I'm talking about? Something you can learn from. That's what I, I – and game, to me, is like something you can learn from. You know what I mean? If, like you said, you might be telling somebody something they don't know. I mean, that's how, and let's all let the homie Challenge, man, from Illinois, man. What's up, Challenge? Where you at, player? Y'all still got him? got him? Challenge. I didn't catch the first part of the show, but um, I was listening to you uh, when I turned it on. It sounded like um, – you kind of sort of thinking about uh, change your image. You no, know, it, ain't a, it, it ain't an image change, man. It's just, it's a, it's just. I'm just saying, should I spit the game a little different because of, of you know what's out there right now? It's a whole lot of you know a lot of like just you know just fun rap where it's not really like you know hip hop is a loud voice and we're not really saying all the right things. All of us. I'm thinking as a whole, maybe I should just step up and just you know. Use some of my knowledge instead of just talking all this shit. I'll be talking about girls and stuff. Maybe I should just spit some of this real stuff for a while, you know? Hip hop is a loud voice and it's very diverse. But what I'm trying to say is that um, whoever you were when you first came out, what made you uh, popular, you know, you need to be consistent with that. You know, there don't, you, you know, because, you know, time has changed a little bit. You're a little older. Don't don't sound like, you know, you backpedaling and second guessing yourself and you think you should change. Uh, That's real time. You should present uh, your game, present it like um, you did back in the day. You know, uh, life is too short. Everything that everybody remember you from. You know, um, hell, uh, I'm not quite as old as you, but um, <laughs> uh, hold on, you're not an old dude, though. Don't get me wrong, dude. Forty-four, man. Wrong. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm up there, man. I'm doing it. I feel good. Uh, well, you ain't an old dude, though, and I ain't but a few years behind you, though. Know? I'm just saying, though, you know, how you, how you present yourself, that's how people see you. That's how they recognize you. And if you change it, and then, man, they think you're trying to be something other than yourself. You know, like I've had two women living with me a couple times in my life. I never called myself a pimp or a player. It's just it was a coincidence that two women wanted to be with me at the same time. You know, and that's how I look at it, and that's how it's been. You know, and I'm not trying to be other than myself. I'm just saying don't be other than yourself thinking that you got to change because the rap game has changed a little bit. You stay consistent, and people still run to you. Even hey, well, the th hey challenge, challenge, man. Thanks for the game, man. I, I really feel you, man. And, you know, I'll tell you something. I never like living with one, 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 one woman at a time either, man. I never <laughs> like one at a time. I like mine in Paris. For real. So hold that's it down, man. Talk, though. Hey, let's see what Kevin hollering about. Kevin from Texas. What's up, Kev? What's up, pal? 
Holla at me, player. What's up? Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. I, loud and clear, man. What's what's, what's good oh, with it, man? What's going on? Hey, man, don't ever talk about retirement. Let me tell you, let me tell you how influential you are, cat. This is going to throw you off, but I'm from a, a small town in Texas. I remember back in the day when Freaky Tales came out, you had cowboys. I'm talking about nut hugging, wearing Wrangler jeans, cowboy hat, bumping your shit. You know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey that's what he said. It's a That nigga say yeah, nut hugger. What city? What city? What city was that? <laughs> Walk at you, Walk, well, actually, Walk at you, Texas. It's not that far from Terrell. It's about Walk 25 Texas, miles from yeah. I was, well, about mention, money, you know, Shout out Texas, truck, man. I'm talking about money. Now, you know, Jamie from, Jamie from Terrell, man. Hey, you know it's Jamie's birthday, man. Happy happy birthday, Jamie. What's up with it, Shout out Fox, man. Happy B-Day. Hey, well, shout out to the Cowboys, man. Not not the Dallas Cowboys, but the Cowboys <laughs> that was at the show. With the nut huggers on, man. Thanks, Talk kid, man. That was, that was some good game. That was some good game. Hey, Rich. What's up, sir? You see what I'm saying, though, man? I, I feel like, dog, I, I know where I need to be. I, right. should, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't jump out my lane. No. I shouldn't change what I do, but at the same time, right. I'm still feeling that weight of them youngsters, man. It won't go away. Right, and, and it might not go away, but I, I kind of understand what the boy Challenge was talking about. I mean... People got on you. They respect you for your realness. You know what I'm talking about? And that's what draw people to you. So, I mean, I can feel where you're coming from, too. It's just like you might feel like upgrading your game. You just want to do another 20. You know, you want to be around for another 20. So you thinking like a businessman, look, I need to keep this cracking because I'm not ready to make my Saturday nights feel like Sunday nights. You know what I'm talking about? For real. I, said, I mean, <laughs> yeah, and I'm just not ready for that, you know. But, I mean, if they loving you for what you're doing, my nigga, I think uh, whatever you do, I mean, do it in, in, in pimp moderation, man, and they're going to be all right with that. For sure. Let's holler at Saul, man. We got Saul from Long Beach, the LB up in here. What's up, Saul? Hey, what's up with it, man? You tell me. What's up, player? How hey, you man, about look, it? dude, you don't, you don't need to change nothing, man. You just keep with the same old formula, man, and, and you're going you gonna to get that, man. You're going to get everybody listening, man, because uh, that's what we, we, you know, we were listening back then. That's, that's what we wanted to listen to. That's, that's the game right there. That, you don't need... To speak no other game, man, because you got your own voice. Di right now, he's speaking that voice of the dope game and all that. You know what I'm saying? You need to keep speaking that pimp gang shit. These hoes, these, these punk ass, trick ass hoes out here, man, trying to run a, a muck on this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know just remember. Hey, remember this though: all bitches ain't women. Remember that. That's I, oh, hey, I know. Hey, dude, I know that. I know that. That's that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? But you got your own. You got your own voice, man. I think you need to be consistent with it, man. Just, you know, whatever you do, just make a hit record. You All right, well, let me, we, let, me know. let me be honest about one thing, man. I am not confused, and I'm not trying to find my way. I just want to know how y'all felt about it, because, you know, I've been making hey. these songs, and I'm, I'm still talking a lot of shit. And so, <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, is it cool for an OG to keep talking all this shit? So, you well, know what? Yeah, I'm, shit. I mean, well, I'm going to keep yeah. talking shit. It came hey, straight from the long, straight from in. the LBC. Keep talking shit, show, the verdict All right, man. We gonna we gonna call, we gonna uh, take a call from Adrian from Texas. What's up with it, Adrian? Hey, now what's happening, man? Is uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm uh, from Houston, Texas, man. I'm riding this old truck, listening to you on the radio, on the on the on the thing here. What I want to tell you, man, that I'm 47 years old. I've been listening to you for a long time. Keep it real, man. You ain't got to change. You ain't got. You ain't got to change your 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 uh, your, your way of spitting game to the youngsters because just like you said, all bitches ain't women. So if you give it to them the way you give it to them, they'll they'll be able to understand. We talking about a whole different generation nowadays, you know. But if you try to change up, well, I know you ain't gonna change. But if you try to change up, you'd be like some of these guys. That the hey, look, listen, no, listen. Do you, do you hear why I'm saying I ain't trying to change too short? I'm trying to change the person who I am that I'm thinking, like, I know a lot of stuff that I can get at these youngsters and teach them. And you t sometimes I try to go to each youngster one by one, group right. by group, but you can get the masses with songs. I can't just hit everybody face to face. I'm like, how can I get this game? It's bothering me, man, that a lot of my youngsters are not getting that game that I got when I was a youngster. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, but that's how you go give it to them the same way you've been giving it to me, you know, back in the day. The same way you've been giving it, like, like the last caller, uh, he said he was 40, he, he's younger than you is. But he got the game from you. So you giving the game. You, All right, man. You, 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 you giving it to him. You, you sound very convincing, man. I'm, I, I, you, you, 
you make me want to go back and make ten more motherfucking yeah, he, albums. Listen I mean, to you, man. I'm, I'm, he OG though. You can hey, hear. Hey man, good looking out for the game, man. I'm about, I mean, I'm about to holler at my partner Whip from Detroit. Whip, what's up, man? Whip, Whip. Yeah, yeah. Double R. What's like, up, Detroit in the house? What's in it? Sir, Southwest. Shout out. Hey, I was gonna say, man. Like you said, you got to convince. So I mean, you, you convince. You ain't trying to convince. You know, the masses. You ain't trying to convince yourself. You're trying to get an opinion. And it's some young cats out here, like you say, they do need some guidance. They do need to have it properly told. But listen, man, it's you got a lot of time left, man. You still you young in the game, as far as I'm concerned. So throw some game out, talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? Say what need to be said. Maybe spread a little bit out here and there. You know, you might want to flip it every now and again. Maybe throw another album out, to drop some knowledge on them, hit them back. Was talking about these hoes again. I mean, whatever's clever, man. Just. Just stay hard in the yard, like you say, That's what man. what we're going to do, man. I say hard on the boulevard, that not the yard. Stay hard in the yard. Man, I ain't like trying to be on the yard, man. Yeah. Shout out to all the homies <laughs> on the yard, though. <laughs> he want to be on the boulevard. Hey, hey, you know we love Detroit, man. Detroit is full of that game, man. But um, check this out. We on the Foxhole Roulette. Your boy Too Short is not going to stop spitting game. All I'm saying is I got a lot of game I want to pass on. A lot of y'all out there gamed up. A lot of, a lot of OGs really don't want to holler at the youngsters about what they need to holler at. A lot of youngsters don't want to listen. We need to shut that down right now because the way I got the game was from the OGs. So like I said, it's the Foxhole Roulette. I got my man Richie Rich in the house. Yes, Get at yeah. your boy Too Short. If you got some game to spit, 877-2106-106. Happy birthday, Jamie. Hey. Put my jacket out. I got some flavor. Hey, let's take a call. This your boy Too Short. Foxhole Roulette. Richie Rich in the house. Yes, yes. Call me and holler at me. 877-2106-106. I got my homegirl on the line right now, Brown Sugar from Alabama. I'm trying to picture what that looks like. What's up, Brown Sugar? <laughs> How you doing? It's I good mean, to hear you. Is it sweet? It is sweet. I just want to let you know, it's a lot of niggas have called. I appreciate what they said, but I've made a lot of money popping my ass off of those songs. There we go. That's see. I told you we needed a few more perspective. Well, you know, I, you know, you. I really, I think that it's um, I think that hip hop <laughs> has this trickle down effect that um, that you take like a hip hop song or a hip hop artist or album or a, a label and the income that it generates, the domino effect is so tremendous that you cannot even imagine that all these years, all the millions Too Short made, all of the shows and all the people that were affected by it, you cannot believe that one girl said she shook her ass and she made. Oh, yes. Yeah. I could actually move on the side of you two short. I, I, in the six figures, I actually dance in Atlanta, but I'm up in Alabama, and I made a lot of money. And around uh, we lost you. Damn, Brown Sugar. I was just about to ask her if she, she wanted was, to she was going sign home. up for the program. <laughs> hey, she said she could actually move next door to you, nigga, with the six figure proceeds from dropping it like it's hot. Okay, to let's the shit that hey, you got. I like I like the way the <laughs> chicks is talking, man. Let's holler at Tanya. Tanya, what you gotta say, baby? What's up? Hello? What's up, Miss Tanya? What's up, baby? Hey, how you doing? I think that, yes, you should do what you do, but it's a lot of other ways that you can actually touch your people and, and get at them, like getting on this project, our Future Against Drugs project that I'm working on. Maybe I can get with you, and you can kind of relate to them on that level and move on from there, but still do what you do. Where, and where are you, where are you at? I'm in California. That's a big state. Riverside where County. Riverside. We just we just just out there last night in San Bernardino uh, uh, t two nights ago, huh? Oh, see, I, I, I miss I miss that. Game I too. miss that. Been been a fan for for a minute. Been a fan so, since you came so out. We, we're but gonna holler at you time. off the air, and we're gonna get some info, and we're gonna find out a little more about that project, the Tanya project. And you said it was uh, hum what about drugs? We lost her. Oh yeah, we're gonna. We t I need to find out what's up with Tanya's pro project because it might be something i want to get into i do get involved with a lot of stuff and uh you want to talk to tanya, 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 tanya. Yeah, back up. yeah i want to know about it. like like what, where you what, what's the project about again yes it's about our future against drugs it's helping right, right. kids around the world to know from the, the industry from the music industry from from the hollywoods to you know the hollywoods to the whole the whole situation it's just putting it in a nutshell, giving them the raw version of 
mm-hmm. in right, the world today and what we can do to help them get on track and do what they need to do, like stay in school, how to say no, just certain things. If we can help one person. I, well, do we me a favor. Hold, hold, hold the line, baby. Hold the line. Go. We're going to take we're gonna take your number and info. How at you. We need to holler at you on the real side. So I'm going to take another call from Sing Sing from Ohio. Can you sing? What's going on, man? <laughs> oh, man. What's up, what's oh, up with it, Pepin? Man, I can't call it, man. I just got talking to Mr. Mr. Hard on the bitch, man. You know, we from our, where time we from, man. You know, these niggas is really tricks out here. We learned a lot from you, though, man. <laughs> and uh, we think you should just run a course or something like the homie Bond B. He's doing a little professor's job, you know, but in the university, man. You need to go on one of them courses, man, and be one of them live professors, man, on the, on the set, man, for real. Well, uh, you know what? I don't really think I want to teach at the university. I just actually want to sit here at Foxhole Radio and spit it out <laughs> through the airwaves to the masses. So you want to holler at Shock Dog, man, you got to tune in to, to Foxhole and, and, and get this game. That's what this is all about. That's why I'm on here right now is I'm trying to tell y'all I got a lot of game I want to spit. This ain't it. We could, we could go subject for subject. We can do whatever. I mean, just spit it at me. I done lived this life. I done experienced it. I've been all over the world, man. I just, you know, I just feel like, when I get back home, that's where my heart is at. It's at home. When I get back and I see, I see East Oakland, I see the town of Oakland, I see the Bay Area, I see every inner city in America, and I'm like, man, I just want to do my part, man. I, I feel like I've been giving out game, but I feel like, you know, moving forward, I don't want to step down. I don't want to sit at home and play video games. I want to give out game. I don't want to play the game. I want to <laughs> be in me? the game. You feel me? Yes, sir. Mr. E.T. from Texas. What's up with it, pimp? That's a good game, man. I'm, I'm going to take that word, and I feel like, um, you know, you're the only one who really, really, like, tapped in on that. I was just telling you that it's coming from the heart. So I'm saying that's what this is all about. It ain't about what I can write about, what I can make a song about, or what I can, uh, what image I can uphold. It's just about, you know, giving back, man. If you, I don't give a fuck what kind of legacy you live behind, leave behind you. If there's no contribution to society, you didn't do nothing. You know what I mean? I can I, I can say I, I made all these songs, everybody loved them, but I got to do some hands-on, you know, this is what Too Short did. And I work, I do a lot of work with youngsters. I do a lot of work in the Bay Area, but I don't do it for publicity. So you can't come, you can't look at my file and go, oh, here's Too Short's record of charity. I, I do it hands-on in the street. So check it out, man. Watch how I move forward. I'm doing this. I'm not going to stop spitting game. I'm not going to sell out. I'm going to keep it real. Holla at my partner, Rodney, from Tennessee. Rich, what's up, man? Man, I ain't doing much, man. I'm uh, trying to get ready, man, to go see the boy tonight, man. Yeah, we going to shout we, out to yeah, the boy tonight, man. They say it's that big day, man. You yeah, know? Rodney, we about to go to uh, Jamie's birthday party, man, in L.A. What's yeah, up, Rodney? Hey, hey, how y'all doing, man? How y'all doing? Hey, look, dude, man, I think you're doing a good job, Too Short. I think you've done a good job. I mean, like I said, we boys, man, uh, we're about the same age. Yeah, well, I'm 44 also. I'm 45 in, a, in about seven months. And, uh, you know, and I'm trying to talk to my uh, 19-year-old man on, on some of this game, man, like you're talking about. And I see how you're trying to, uh, to try to take the bitches in the holes out and try to bring it to them more or less like man to man, man to woman, because of the fact that he's in a situation now where he's got a partner that every time he's coming home, you know, his partner, his girlfriend is picking up his partner and coming to see him. 
And I tell him, hey, man, that shit ain't right, man. You can't do that, man. You can't let a bitch be rolling with your nigga, man. And he was like, well, why do you keep calling her a bitch? Why do you keep calling her a bitch? But then, you know, that's the game we spit back in the day. Now, yeah, it, it ain't yeah. nothing but a word, but you know, right, right off the top, man, he just, he ain't, you ain't, he ain't really running the game right. It's like, you're supposed to have that thing where you know uh, scenarios, the same scenarios pop up over and over again. I could be your best friend, but if I keep picking up your girl to bring her to you, I'm probably going to fuck her on the way one of them times. Exactly. There is a real problem with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but he think, but, and like you said, so I'm like you. I got to start, you know, I, I like the game. I got the game. I you got to pass it on, too. You got to pass it on. Yeah, but you got to pass it on. And like you said, you want to get off that bitch and hold, try to break, come a little bit cleaner with it, but saying the same thing. And I understand what you're saying, man. I think you, you've done a good job, man. And like I said, you my boy. You like my partner, man, because we rode together a whole lot. And you might not, you don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell your son, I said. Together, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell your son, I said to tell his partner to get his own goddamn ride over. I'm trying to tell you, man. And uh, like you said, I, I, I played some of your songs for him, try to get him to understand. And he's like, man, I don't understand that shit. But see, you know. Matter of fact, these tell, him quit hang, man. tell him to quit hanging with niggas that ain't got cars. Fuck that. They ain't got cars. There you go. Yeah, you know. <laughs> exactly. you know. All right, man. You know? Hold it down, right? I'm about to take another call. Special K, Las Vegas calling. What's up with it? Man, not much, man. Just out here moving and grooving. You know what I mean? Shit, oh, man, yeah. I want to say, uh, keep on doing what you're doing, man. You know, spit that shit, man. You've been you've been making a difference for, for, for niggas in the hood and shit and, and, and niggas on the street, you know what I mean, to get to them executive suites. You know what I mean? I'm a nigga myself that's been, you know, shaking the bacon since the early age. You know, I'm, right. I'm coming from Cali right now. And, well, you know, and, we ain't going to never retire to pimping, man, because I feel like the pimping has never been, it's never been about the actual sale of a vagina. I think pimping is a state of mind, and it's something that yeah. you just you just raise it, on that it, game. It I, yeah, it's it's just it just is what it is. It really it's about not being pimp. That's what I'm saying for real. Getting money, man. If we getting money together. If we all getting money, then we all pimping together. You feel me? Yes, yes, sir. Rich, what's up with it, man? Man, another shot of the Patron has been gone, man. You know it's all groovy like a Hollywood movie, man. We have drank a little bit. We have, yeah, we've been getting at it. I mean, I'm just listening to all the people that's calling in, man, trying to get a clear view, and uh, we're getting a lot of real calls, you know, a lot of real calls, you know. Some saying adjust, some saying lock it in where it's been. I mean, you know, you take all that in, and I know what I, you're going to do. Was hoping, I was hoping somebody would just dial 877-2106-106 and just really, you know, just – just really like get at me and be like, show you know what, right? You know what, show it's we, like this, yeah, nigga. We, Don't just spit it at me. Yeah, we need a kid to be like in the car listening to their parents' satellite in the garage on the under, and have a kid calling and tell us what they really feeling because that's what you talking about. Hey, let's holler at the homie JG, JG, Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm on y'all way in a minute too, man. I'm about to come out there hit one of them little towns of Arkansas this weekend. What's up, JG? I ain't nothing to it, bro. I did, did. I'm a truck driver, man. That's how I get down the road, listening to that old real shit. You know what I'm saying? That UGK, that old school E40 and the click, that be legit. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. If you keep hitting these boys over the head, what well, you've been doing it since the 80s, you know what I'm saying? That shit was game right there within itself. So these boys listening to that, you know, they're giving them game right there. You know what I'm saying? You keep doing it the way you've been doing it, man. You know, throw something in there, tell these niggas' heads off and shit, let them know they ain't doing thing right. You know what I'm saying? Take it back the way real niggas used to do it. You know they, you know they riding the coattails of what real niggas did anyway, with no discipline and all this shit. So you know, keep doing the way you've been doing it, man. These boys are tighten up if they listening to it. For sure, for sure. Good looking out, JG. I want to send a shout out to the OGs that came before me because you know it was something that was implanted into me at a young age was just to be cool. You know what I mean? Just, just to you know. A Try to have money, want something in life. When I saw the um, the old players in in Oakland, like you know, riding in fly cars and whatnot, whether it was uh, whether it was you know, illegal or even if it was just a, a legitimate businessman, it just gave a brother you know the, the 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 desire to have something, and that's what I've been preaching all my years, man. If you listen to two short songs, it's not about disrespecting women. The whole thing has always been about not being. You know, oppressed and being broken, just you know, just giving up. It's like you got to try to do something, man. So if that's something is is to use what you got to get what you want, that's it. But your, what you using might be your brain, might be your body, might be your muscles. Just don't don't be don't be weak, man. Out here, that's what I'm saying. 
Rich, what you think, man? I feel like basically, man, uh, I was raised on, on just game. And, and, and like the, the OGs that raised me always told me both sides of every situation. Nigga, if you go out there and sell the dope, you can have the money, you can have the cars. Nigga, but if you get caught, you can have the, the bars. You know what I'm talking about? And that's what I think game is, is just giving a nigga both sides of every equation. You know what I'm talking about? And that way you, you got a choice to make, nigga. Now you get good at what niggas is teaching you, and then you can elevate that to whatever. Me, myself, I can feel where you coming from. I kind of listen to the listeners. Niggas going to love old short dog for doing it the way he been doing it because this shit is it's raw and it's real. But at the same time, if you can't pass it on, it, it ain't never worth having. You know what I'm talking about? And I, I know where you coming from with that. So That's right. So uh, that's what I'm saying, man. If you listen to me right now, and you got a lot of game, and you're around some youngsters, and you see they might be a little game goofy is what I call it, you know, and I know it's a lot of youngsters out here that's doing it right and that's, you know, on the right path and that's trying their hardest to keep it right and get it right. But if you see somebody, just give them some game, man. That's all. Whether he's listening or not, you never know. Because when I was young and they were spitting the game to me, I act like I wasn't listening, but I swear I was learning. Holler at your boy, Short Dog, 877-2106-106. We're going to take this call right here. Mr. Big from Texas. What's up, B.I.G.? What it is, Shout Dog? I mean, I mean, tell me about it. I'm going to tell you, Shout 100. Your music always been what it's been, baby. But these young cats need some game, man. These young yes, cats ain't got shit for a bitch. Not no more. You been I... giving it to us hard and funky all these years, but these young kids they ain't got a shot in hell with a bitch. I ain't going to tell you no lie. Yeah, I feel I feel uh, partially responsible for that, man, because I feel like, you know, hip-hop has, has actually given out, at times, like a lot of false information. And, you know, I, I'll, I'll pick at certain issues. I mean, I felt like, you know, we make bold statements like, it ain't tricking if you got it. <laughs> but, it but is it. tricking if you it, 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 There's <laughs> you know no way around it if you're handing it over. I mean, even it, it, even against myself, it's like, you know, I, I, I perpetuate this image that you can really walk up to a female and say, What's up, bitch? Suck my dick. It's just, it just doesn't work like that. I'm too short, and I ain't never said that to a woman. Hey, bitch, suck my dick. Like I can get some head, but it's a certain process you got to go through to get that head, and, it, and it's not like a transax transaction of money or anything. It's it's actually like you right. know, it's that right, thing. So you just keep giving it to them one hundred. They keep it funky like you've been keeping it. Either they gonna catch it or they ain't gonna get it. That's the way the game always been. Yes, sir. All right, man. We love Texas, man. What's up, man? Let's take another call, Rich. Who I, is it? Who we got on the line? We're going we gonna to go up to our area, man, NorCal, man. Y'all got some NorCal calls? Northern California. What's up, Gotti? Sacramento calling. Oh, Sac yeah. Town. What's going on, OG? <laughs> What's going on, OG? Double R. Short dog, man. Hey, it's good to be on the line talking to y'all right now because I grew up listening to both of y'all, man. Much love, much respect to both of y'all. But to make a comment about everything that I'm hearing, I have to say, OG, Whatever you want to do in life, man, do it. You know what I'm saying? Your music is supposed to be a reflection of you. And, you know what I'm saying? I grew up listening to you. So when I was young, acting wild, like other young cats acting wild, that's what I was. But mm -hmm. now you get into a stage in your life where you want to do something different, and us as your fans and us as your people, we need to congratulate you on that, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to congratulate you on it because, like you said, I'm from Northern Cal, so I didn't see, you know what I'm saying, I'm young, you know, 81 and all that, but in my short time, I didn't see how Northern Cal didn't change. Hey, you know, so man, it's, it's bad it's right good. now. Hey, Gotti, you made, you made a good point, though, man, when we was young and wild, and you know what, I never get at the youngsters and say, don't do this, don't do that. All I'm saying is what I feel like my responsibility is, is to pass on the game. You can you can take it how you want, and I'm not giving it to everybody. I'm giving it to the youngster. I see potential, and I'm like, I think that youngster needs some game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying, don't let me be the only one out there. Pass it on, man. I talk to a lot of OGs that I know are very knowledgeable, and they tell me, they say, man, I'm not fucking with them youngsters. I ain't going around them. But I'm like, OG, them youngsters need you. They need to know your story, whether they believe you or not, whether they listen or not. I remember being a youngster, man. I remember talking one day. I talked to a bum. For an hour, and all he told me was old pimp stories about how rich he was and how he macked his hoes. Some of that shit he told me that day, I use it in the future. Exactly. I mean, B bum pimping was good pimping. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, hey real let's, talk. Let's holler at Sherry, man. Sherry from Minnesota. What's up, Sherry? What's up, um, Short? I grew up listening to your music, and I really love it. You can keep doing what you're doing, 
but just send out a positive message. A lot of kids don't even know that some of the rappers have degrees. They finish high school, they have degrees. So that's what I'm talking about. It's not all about spitting. You know, it's about growing up, pretty much. I, I don't I don't know if a lot of fans know that most rappers actually have, like, a wife and kids and a dog yep. and... Yep. And, you know, and they really like, you know, they don't go out a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I appreciate that, Sherry. I, I like the positive imp, 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 input I'm getting back from everybody. So thank you. And I love Minnesota, too. Where you at? Twin Cities? Where you at? I'm dry. The Twin Cities is where I'm from. Jesus, that's where she's from. Okay. Well, we fucks with KC, too. So how like KC for us? Wave at Kansas City while you're driving through it for me. <laughs> Shout out. Actually, I just came from Houston. Uh -oh. You all over the place, girl. What you, you doing on what, the road? <laughs> what you got in your trunk? Pull over and open that trunk. But you didn't. You hitting a lot of spots. I'll keep the doors locked. <laughs> yeah, you hitting a lot of spots. We need one of them ones like Sherry on the road. Yeah, up. for real. Sherry, run this for me down the way. I need to drop these CDs well, thank off. Thank you for taking my call. It's all good, Sherry. All right, Stay baby. Up. Hey, let's holler, Young Fred from Compton. Young Fred, what's up, pimp? Yo, what's up with your show, man? Ah, uh, you know we out here in LA too. What's up with it? Man, I'm maintaining, homie. What's up with you, Richard Rich? Oh, man, just West Coasting, just West Coasting, my God. Loving this 85 in December, this weather. <laughs> I yeah, know, hey. know. Got on shorts. Hey, let's, no. hey, let's take a moment to rub that in. Hey, anybody listening right now, it was 85 degrees how, in LA. How today. about everybody listening? It was 87 <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Yeah, it yeah, might man. be 85 now. We in convertible <laughs> tops with shorts on out here today. Sorry, y'all. And we smoking good. Santa's going to need a short suit and a Cadillac convertible. Hey, Fred, give me some of that Compton game, Fred. Nah, man. But, no, nah, what I wanted to tell you, man, on some real shit, man, our, our younger generation, man, niggas is lost, homie. Right. You know what I'm saying? I look at these niggas, man. These motherfuckers out here doing some way out shit, man. They, they thought process is gone. You know, in terms of uh, what money is, what they think is real money, niggas want to ride around and. You know, hey, let's de let's deal with the mathematics first. Now we talking about we talking about the the eighties babies that crack cocaine kicked in and all they mamas, all they daddies got shot, killed, locked up, and just put out the game. So let's talk about that first. It ain't they fault, all right? Nah, tr nah, true indeed. But shit, man, when you get to a certain age, homie, you got to know what's right and what's wrong. You know what I'm saying, nigga? When I if I see some shit, I'ma know that shit ain't gonna make no motherfucking sense. How, you hey, know Fred, what I mean? how 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 old is you, Fred? How old are you? Man, I'm 28 years old, man. So you you you, you kind of like an older kind of crack, baby. You are you on the you on the cusp. But all yeah, I'm saying is, right, all I'm yeah. saying is, man, we have never as a society experienced a generation of kids that raised themselves. We don't know what that's like, man. We can't you can't judge that unless you experience that, man. I sat in a room full of youngsters and said. Who in here got a mom and daddy? Nobody had one. Nobody. Right. They said my grandma raised me, my auntie raised me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, same here, homie. You know what I'm saying? I live with my grandma, man. Pops, you know what I'm saying? Nigga locked down up in Folsom. You know what I'm saying? I just, uh, I just don't like. I don't like when nobody say the youngsters crazy. I like when somebody come with solutions. I know they crazy. We was crazy. Our generation was crazy. But at least we had the kingpins to say you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't. You know what I'm saying? I think that somebody need to step in these youngsters. The youngster told me the other day, man, I don't want nothing. I just want some attention. Somebody hug me. <laughs> yeah, and then he nah. was dead serious when he said it. Nah, true indeed. So, man, when I, when when you say, like, you know, what should I do? Should I keep spit, uh, you know, spitting that, that pimp shit? Hell yeah. But, you know, you need to show these niggas how to make this legal money. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, and I done did both things. You feel me? Uh, hey, I hey Rich, 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 Rich. What's up, sir? I think Fred just said the word of the day, man, the phrase of the day. Fred said legal, legal money. money. That's what we about right there, man. That <laughs> I, illegal that, money, that street that, career, that, what's that? Man. What's that street career, about a five-year career? You, I mean, you could, they, got, they got various runs, but I'm telling you, it, it ends up with a walk. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, Fred, thanks for the game, man. Legal money, legal money, man. We want... We want that. We want to show you. We want to give you the game to get the legal money, man. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to knock you if you're pimping, but if you pimping incorporated. Exactly. What? Hey. Real yeah, talk. Man. Are we going to talk to somebody named Chico from Texas? We got Chico on the line. I Chico. thought that was the city, Chico, Texas. That's somebody. Hey, Chico, what's up, man? Hey, what it do? What's up with it, pimp? Sure, you got it, man. I can't believe I'm talking to the infamous two show, man. <laughs> All yeah, day, you baby. Hey man, I grew up on your, you know, on your music and everything, and I believe that, yeah, <clears throat> you do need to make a change. You know what I'm saying? Not because 
you you know, you're not real, but I think that's growth. You showing growth. And I mean you a man, you ain't no kid. You don't you don't think the way you used to think. And that's the game right there. You gotta show these people how to grow up. That's right. You know? That's real talk. So I mean I, I, I think I've been hearing enough for the last hour, man. I kind of, I kind of, um, I was on the same page as everybody, but I, I just wanted a little, you know. Jamie said it's his birthday. He let me get on the air. I wanted to air this out, man. I wanted to like see where everybody was at with me. So Chico, sp- yeah, thanks yeah. for the game, man. Thanks for the game for real. I'm holler at my partner Jonathan from Pasadena. It's my last call. I'm gonna get up out of here. I want to thank all the listeners for for calling me and spitting it with me. If you listen, I can I can hear what you're thinking, man. Yes, yes. You just want to say, bitch, <laughs> real loud. I heard your ears over there. <laughs> this is my last call. I'm gonna holler at Jonathan over here in Dina. What's up, Jonathan? Hey, how you doing? Too short. What's up, man? I just wanted to, I just wanted to ask you one question. I want your take. On what on the verdict between the Bart Cop shooting and killing Oscar Grant? You know, I always said the same thing. I'm from Oakland. That happened in Oakland, and I always said the same thing. I always wonder what did he pull the taser gun out for? Like, what 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 what, what prompted him? What what was they saying? What was the interaction? Like, I just always wondered, and I felt like, you know, man, whether he thought he was pulling out a gun or a taser, you know, either way, it's like, you know, it's. We look at the history of what happened in uh in every shooting in Oakland, which before that, right before that, there had been like some real strange suspect kind of shootings of you know like of of teenagers and stuff and and you know unarmed people and and nobody ever in the history of Oakland and the police department ever got charged with like a homicide or a shooting. It's it's always like justifiable. So I'm feeling like well, I, I just would like to know, man, what did that youngster say? While he was laying on the ground, handcuffed on his, his stomach, like, his back. what make you even want to taser me? Not just shoot me, like what would make you? I'm cuffed and on my belly. So I feel like, man, I feel like it must have been. I mean, you know, he must have, you know, he must have been so hurt with what the youngster was saying that he, he pulled out his taser, taser, and made a, a big mistake. But you know, I'm a, uh, I'm not about a. Uh, I ain't really about like uh, the city of Oakland jumping out and riding and stuff. I remember the night they came with the verdict. I was in Oakland. Every I, I was going to the bank at three p.m. They closed all the banks. They closed every store. They people were it boarding was, their own businesses. Yeah, people up. were boarding up the windows of every business in the town, and that just was a real ugly look for me. And I just I felt like um, you know, I'm glad we didn't riot, and the uh, the world didn't have to look at Oakland and say, look how ugly Oakland's acting. But at the same time, you know, we can't sit around and take that kind of stuff no more. So. As a city, we ain't no punks out there, so we, we ain't really going to have that, man. That was like the transit police, man. He shot my man while he was laying on his stomach, man. We ain't doing it like that. We some real players where I'm from. You know what I mean, Rich? Exactly, man. So I'm telling everybody out there, man, get your money on. Whatever you're doing right now, they call it a recession. We coming out of it. We stuck in it. Get your money. Don't be no broke-ass bitch. Don't be no broke motherfucker. Get your hustle. If you ain't getting money, try to get some money. Just hustle every day, and life will be okay. Yes, indeed. You'll feel good for trying, baby. I'm a player for life. Play fair and stay there. And we about to um, we about to wrap up the Foxhole Roulette. Like I said, thanks everybody out there for for calling. Even though nobody from the East Coast called me, I still got love Didn't for the, no East. From the East. Coast. What's up, New York? Me and Shop. poet, me and poet is rich. About to go smoke some of this medical marijuana. Yes, indeed, and hit the party of the year, man. Cause we smoke it legal in California. We're not breaking the law. I have insomnia, and I got certified. I got um, <laughs> I, what do I have? I have cataracts. <laughs> And um, I have a few little other ailments, but I have my card right here. And Foxhole Radio, Short Dog, Richie Rich. Bitch! You know what it is.